first day of practice, just how's, how's it good feel? How good does it feel just to be back out here? It feels pretty good. It feels good to be on, you know, fresh cut grass, you know, get back to actually throwing the football with guys. Um, a lot of guys had smiles on their faces. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to work on, but, you know, it's a good, it was a good day one for sure. Talk about your health. Where are you at right now? How, how good do you feel being yeah, back out? Yeah, I, I feel really good. You know, I feel really good. New offense um, requires a lot of our footwork, you know, to be improved upon, and I'm improving every day. I feel really good. Legs feel good. Um, mind is racing, and it feels really good to, you know, understand the playbook that it's coming along, but uh, mentally and physically, I feel really good. You know, you kind of touched on it, but, but what did you focus on over the summer over the last couple of months to get better? Yes, um, we got a new offense coming in, of course. You got to understand the playbook in and out. It requires a lot of the quarterback. Um, and if you don't know it, you're not going to play. So, you know, I've been, I've been studying the playbook as much as I can, mastering it, you know, because you've got to go out with their confidence. Because if you don't go out there with confidence, other guys won't have confidence in you. And footwork, footwork was a lot big thing that I want to work on, too. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that happened last year was because of my footwork, a lot of bad plays, you know, I still think of. So I never want that to happen again. So I've been improving my footwork. Um, and that goes along with knowing the playbook and knowing drops, knowing footwork, knowing steps on runs and stuff like that. So those two things. Obviously, Mike Bobo, new offensive coordinator. Just talk a little mm -hmm. bit about what he brings that's, that's a little different. Yeah, um, he, he requires a lot of you. He requires near perfection um, because if you're not at perfection, you're, you're, the whole offense is messed up. You know, you, you mess up one thing, you know, here or there, um, it, it's it's wrong. So he demands perfection, uh, and he's a really, you know, good guy off the field. He want, talks to you about devotionals. He talks to you about a lot of good stuff, you know, talks to you about asking about your family, you know, but when it comes to football time, we're full go. We're fully invested. Um, he requires the most of us, and, and I love his on-the-field coaching. You know, he gets fired up a lot, um, which is good for us, for sure. Um, you've had a chance now maybe to reflect a little bit on last season, watch a lot of film and stuff. Kind of assess your performance and, and what you mm -hmm. thought of, of being a freshman quarterback in the SEC. Yeah, um, whether I'm a freshman or you know a senior, I, I want to win every game. You know that's my expectation, of course. Um, and you know watching some of the film with Coach Bobo, um, it's, some of it's hard to watch because I, I know I could have done better on some of the plays. I know I could have made a better throw. I know I could have made a better progression. I know I could have scrambled on some plays. Um, you know, I, I do love the plays that were great. You know, those those are good things to improve upon, and you got to acknowledge those. Um, but I'd rather look at, you know, a lot of the bad stuff that, you know, I can improve upon. Um, but I think, you know, once we improve them up upon those little things, you know, after watching that film and which we're doing, uh, it's going to be a way better season this year, and we're excited. Uh, one of the challenges over the last few months is just the mental aspect of it for mm -hmm. the team, not knowing what's going on, a lot of uncertainty. Kind of how have you addressed that with your teammates, mm -hmm. and what have you talked about? Yeah, I think the thing is with, with this, we're, we're battling two opponents. You know, we're battling our schedule, um, and we're battling this virus. Um, and I think the biggest thing is the mature teams are going to win. And a lot of our guys have been mature. They've been very good. They've been living very boring lives, like Coach likes to say. Um, and people have been staying inside uh, because we love football. We want to be here. We want to play. We want to win an SEC championship, and that's what we plan on doing. Um, so a lot of the guys are being mature about it. A lot of them guys are staying inside. It gives them extra time to study the playbook. And it's just really cool to see a lot of guys invested um, in winning. And that's the big thing that we're, we're trying to do. And one of those things you've touched on in social media, you've been out there a little bit, and mm -hmm. we want to play um, right. part of it. Uh, why was that important to, to get your message out there? Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I actually am off. I'm off social media for fall camp now. I deleted all those apps because it just felt good to get off. It don't need to be. But before that, you know, I have the, if I have a platform, why not use it? Uh, why not use it like you know all these other guys are using it? Um, and if, if one person you know looks at my tweet that has an influence on the decision to play. Um, for even if it's for us for another conference, uh, I, I want to be able to help if I can. If I can. How cool was it to find out that ESPN won an Emmy for the, the 30 for 30? That was um, that was pretty special. I mean, my, it was crazy because I was sitting at. Um, I live with my brother here in Cola now because I was staying with my parents, and my mom and dad called me, and I didn't even know the Emmys were on. And um, my mom called me, and she goes, hey, "Ryan, guess what?" I'm like, "What's up?" Put it on, she's like, put it on speaker. And I was like, okay. She's like, we just won an ESPN Emmy for Helensky's Hope on the E60. And I'm like, Shh. I mean, I grew up watching that um, as a little kid. I grew up watching, you know, all of those things with Tyler and uh, Kelly and all those things. So it was just really special for sure to see it get recognition. So it was, it was very cool. Talk a little bit about practicing against two of the best cornerbacks. Um, <laughs> Certainly in the league, maybe in the country, and, yeah. UC and JC. Just, yeah. How does that make you better to go against guys like it's, that? It's iron against iron. We're sharpening each other. Uh, I mean, those guys, those guys are ridiculous. They're long, they're quick, 
they know what they're doing and they're and you know they're best friends which is the coolest part about it and uh, they like to talk a little bit so you know i'm under center and izzy's on the field and jc might be you know taking a playoff i hear jc like yeah izzy get a pick or the same thing in the middle of the play but um there are a lot of guys that bring great energy uh, which is even a compliment you know to them being even greater players so it's it's really good for us uh, over the summer, you've had a chance, obviously, to work out with some guys. Anybody stand out? Anybody that you know kind of mm-hmm. surprised you? Maybe make a leap forward? Yeah, um, Rico Powers has been uh, one of those guys that has been really good for us. You know, he came in, um, and before he even came in, he was texting me. I mean, I can't tell you how many times he DM me asking for playbook installs, um, stuff he can get started on before he even got here. And then he gets here, um, and he just keeps getting better every single day, <clears throat> which is really cool. Marshawn Lloyd's another guy, you know, that just keeps getting better. Some of the runs I see today, you know, I'll hand it off, I'll turn around, it's supposed to hit to the left, he might bounce it back all the way to the right, and there's nobody there, and it's just like, can somebody do that? But. Um, those two guys have been really good for us. Nick Muse is coming back with his knee, um, which is really good to see. Josh Van is finally, you know, coming back to full go. Um, he's been really good, improving, improving, improving. Shy Smith, of course, and uh, Karen Joyner is going to be really good for us. He's been moving a lot. You know, he's been doing what he can do for the team, um, and he's doing it at the highest level right now. So all those guys have been really good, and we got a bunch of other guys coming with him.